So, so you imagine that you're writing a, a, a cookbook, right? And so here's my cookbook on, you know, Italian cooking, let's say. And there's this sentence in this file here. So this, is, this file is my cookbook. This file has some in, information on the history of cooking. Well, I find a sentence in this file here that really would work well in my cookbook. So I take that copy and copy that sentence, which is a gene, right? Think of a sentence as a gene or a gene as a sentence. So I copy that sentence and I insert it into this cookbook. And, um, and so that's genetic engineering. It's just copying chemical information instead of letters and putting it into our, our, uh, another organism. And that's genetic engineering in, in its simplest form. The, um, we could go a little deeper with that and, and, um, and contrast genetic engineering in its, in its older ways with CRISPR. And, um, and so if you, if you think to this insertion, you, um, you wouldn't want that to be random because you might interrupt a, a, a recipe, right? You wouldn't want that sentence that you've inserted to interrupt your recipe. So you might have to do a hundred of these different insertions into different the same file a hundred times to get um, an insertion that's in a safe place for the plant. But that's the older techniques of genetic engineering. The newer techniques, CRISPR gene editing, actually allow you not only to select the sentence you want and insert it into your file, your new file, but you can actually decide this is where I want that sentence and insert it right there. And that's the level of precision that it gives that's the level of precision that has scientists so excited.